Okay, so uh, I've uh, had a couple of good weeks really. I've been out on my bike quite a bit, trying to get as much biking in as I possibly can before next week. Um, I'm going to have my knee operation. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll not be doing any more videos tomorrow because I'm out biking tomorrow. Um, so, this will be the last one for today and then hopefully get a couple more done on Thursday for you. Um, quite a cool little bike this, uh, 1983 Suzuki RM80. Uh, it's a D model, uh, which is a water-cooled monoshock uh, version, full floater. Cool, cool thing. They're uh, really, really nice uh, little bike, uh, this. Really like this model. Um, always they're always popular rm80s are always popular late 70s early 80s and uh, yeah you can tell why it looks looks gorgeous this model um has a radiator on the left hand side so it's got one uh, rad scoop uh, the rad scoop on this one is uh, cracked so that's going to need replacing uh, the front mug guard's a little bit bent uh, but it's a very complete little bike uh, and everything that's here seems to be working uh, pretty well and everything seems to be in reasonably good condition. What you often find with these little things is uh, they're either flogged to death or uh, a lot of what's there is, is quite nice and that I think is what the situation is uh, with this one. Um, the wheels, the wheels are nice. Uh, the front forks, there is there is a bit of pitting, so that'll need sorting or some new stanchions or some fork tubes or um, another another set of another set of forks, whatever uh, whatever you think. When I was pushing it before, it's flipping really really hard to push, uh, and it was because the front brake cable had uh, caught itself up on the front fork. Um, bolt that goes through the top triple clamp. It just did it again. Quite hard to get it out as well. Uh, anyway, so we'll have a quick look at her. Uh, she turns over with good compression. She's got spark, uh, kill switch works. So I can't really see a reason as to why uh, she won't fire up. Um, and uh, we might even be able to uh, just run around the garden quickly. I've got to uh, be relatively quick because I've got to go and pick the kids up. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll just see just see how far we get there. So it's got a nice DG pipe on it. And I love, I don't know whether it would have come out of the factory like that with that lacquer, that coloured lacquer on it. But I think it looks really, really nice uh, in that finish. Um, there is a dent in it down here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. But the rest of the pipe looks decent. The engine casings look decent. I think someone has tried to clean the barrel and make it look silver. Uh, and not done a very good job. And not got very far with it either. Um, so that's, that's what it is. Uh, like I say, turns over. Good compression. And uh, and it, and it sparks as well. Uh, frame number is all completely intact, and uh, like I say, it's a D model. Um, front fork, the right hand side one doesn't really have a lot of pitting on it. The left hand side one, as you can see, maybe maybe the left hand side was the side that was uh, that was left outside. Um, Maybe they left it underneath a porch or something like that on the left hand side was the side that was closest to the outside, you never know. Uh, lovely uh, front rim, gorgeous. No dents, no dings, no nothing. Perfect, looks nice and shiny, um, beautiful. The uh, front uh, brake plate also looks really good. Uh, proper proper nice thing uh, that's the uh, the crack on the front rad scoop 
as you can see you'll not be able to reuse that uh, aftermarket bars on it um, they, they've obviously fallen off and broken the little nobbles off and then they filed them down to make them less dangerous I'm sure they can still stab you uh, go through your arm if you come off or your leg or something like that uh, so you probably want to change them tank could do with a bit of a clean up seat it's been something's been leaning up against it possibly one of my other bikes possibly something strapped down to it not sure um, but yeah proper proper nice thing radiator looks to be in good nick it's got the original radiator guard on there it's got the stator cover with the chain guard on it uh, chain wear block um, on the uh, on the swing arm swing arm looks to be in good condition um, I would say the sprockets are probably a bit worn down um, maybe they're not too bad I'd probably I'd probably be replacing them really um, the little mud flap that protects the rear shock has uh, has disappeared um, there's some some black oily residue by the rear shock but that will have come between from the join between the silencer and the main pipe rather than the rear shock being uh, leaking rear rim again in perfect perfect condition uh, nice and shiny no dents um, yeah really nice really nice very 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 impressed with it actually um, obviously it needs work and it needs doing up but uh, they pretty much all do and you're better off having one that you've done up yourself I always think rather than one that someone else has done up we'll just do the gearbox check and then we'll see if we can get it fired up there we go she's in neutral down into first up into second all right lucky third fourth, fifth, and sixth, that's the top of the gearbox, down into fifth, fourth, third, second, and into neutral, so the gearbox is working alright, there's a tight spot or a, some tight links or something on the chain, because every now and then this goes a bit tight to get around, Uh, maybe not great to ride it because there's a couple of links that aren't moving properly. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Right, I'll uh, go put my dog away because he doesn't like us starting bikes up, so I'll go and do that. Uh, and then you won't be barking at me, will you, mate? And then uh, we'll get her fired up and hopefully, uh, hopefully, run around the garden with her. So, uh, Literally flipping fire up that third kick that. <clears throat> nice engine sounds mega great little resto project 1983 rm 80d uh, lovely lovely little thing please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel just search phoenix motos